Moles. You have them. You probably dislike them. But when they're dropped onto a celebrity's face, suddenly they become acceptable? mountain out of a molehill and asking you to guess the movie star mole for some reason. But don't worry, we'll provide clues along the way. Oh, and just FYI, no Alfred Molina isn't on the list. And nor is Angelina Moly, mostly because we wanted to get those puns in there. This hot-headed New Zealand-born actor loves only one thing more than making movies and making songs. And that's fighting around the world! He's played the father to a murdered son and husband to a murdered wife, not once but twice. That's right, it's Jor-El, aka Maximus Decimus Meridius, aka Russell Bloody Crow, mate! Tugger, you're alive! Parents are well known for having buttocks for faces. He's changed lanes, survived Christmas, been a third wheel, and played not one but two sad superheroes. Douglas is his old friend after all. This multi mold star has gone from actor to director, but the highlight has to be that time he displayed his totally authentic English accent. It's bloody Ben Affleck! Or is it Night Owl now? Frequently confused for Mark Wahlberg, this Harvard dropout is unique in that he's been born four times on screen. His roles include a Martian, a Grim Brother, and an Aardvark. He's also ironically portrayed a mole who infiltrated the Boston Police Department. He's heavily involved in charity work off screen, so if you're hunting for goodwill, look no further than Mad Damon. She's played an archer with a catchy theme tune and a shapeshifter in a franchise with an even catchier theme tune. She took the starring role in The Fappening, an award-worthy performance in which we got to see all her moles, up close and personal. Not that the dupes are perverts at all, but we bet she wished she was Mystique that day. It's j -Law! This actor frequently provokes the question, what's a mole and what's a freckle? At least in my mind. Speaking of questions, how come the lion's share of black roles go to this guy and Sam Jackson? Surely there are other awesome actors of colour out there. Anyway, he's played a fox, a god, but probably most unbelievably, an Irishman. You guessed it, it's the merry man so addictive he was Moorish. It's Morgan Spurlock. Sorry, Morgan Freeman. Born Nita Lee Hirschlag in Jerusalem, this Oscar-winning actress has an IQ of 140 and speaks six languages. Kira Knightley famously played her body double, though it isn't clear whether she donned a stunt mole or not. No, the director is probably a digital mole, or a digimol, as they're known in the industry. She's got the highest melanocyte count I've ever seen, but zero midichlorians. It's Natalie Borman! This Scottish actor had to have several moles removed recently. You can't be too careful, folks. Go see a dermatologist. On screen, he's played a heroin addict, the son of God, and even a young Albert Finney. His moles have traveled across the world on a motorcycle, their very own tiny one. That's right, it's you and I forgot how to act after train spotting McGregor. A snake? A spy? A flash fry? Whatever all this actress plays, never before has a mole made me want to make sweet, sweet love to its wearer more. Except for Cindy Crawford, and Ava Mendes, and Enrique Iglesias, no, um, and, and, Rock, and Rocky Dennis. Yeah, that's better. It's Scarlet Mole Hansen! This former child star has become famous for his fluctuating physical appearance. One minute skinny, the next muscular as fuck. Though this doesn't seem to affect the appearance of his mole. Or is it a war? Whatever it is, do not barge in on set while it's acting. You might feel its wrath. On screen, he's battled a sociopathic clown, killer cyborgs, and even an Egyptian pharaoh. It's Christian Bale. Oh, good for you. The number one spark goes to the godfather of movie star moles. This movie mole has been everywhere from inside a cab to the inside of a ring, and whatever he was doing in this, being so vital in so many iconic roles, part of me thinks that maybe the mole maketh the man. It even has nipples, but I'm not sure you can milk them. It is, of course, Robert De Niro. Are you talking to me? Are you talking to me? Actually, I was talking to the mole. Take this quarter. Go downtown and have a rat gnaw that thing off your face. How about that mole? That turn you on? 
Well, it shouldn't, because that's my mole. Good night, everybody.